Hello YouTube, this is the Darkly Player again, and we're going into match one for, I would just call it the Hedron Crab deck, but since we really need a catchy title, I will just call it You Got Crabs, and that's basically the gist of the deck. You are supposed to spread the evil of the Hedron Crab all about the world of magic. As you can see, we're right into a match setup of... Uh, normal stuff um and we just gotta wait for a player it is really early in the morning so it's a little slow like you just saw we just now got somebody so we'll see how it goes and if i go first please nope okay i'll just wish him good luck and this will be match one and we'll see how it goes Okay, we got a Mana Leak, a Sakura. That's a bad one. I would not. I do like the turn one archive, so I'll keep this hand. But it's going to be a little set back a little bit because I've got to wait a couple turns just to get a land out. But they pop into a search land right on turn one, which they don't seem to be. Oh, they might be playing an elf deck. So this may be interesting, so we'll see what happens. Upkeep. I uh, draw into. That's a very bad draw right now. I'll go straight into a forest. So I need to get those out and about. But if I draw into a hedron, I'm going to be upset. Oh, they didn't respawn. Probably getting a couple more elves out. Yep, this is the elf deck. Or no, it's not. Oh, I bet it's somewhat of an elf deck, but it kind of feels like a, uh, just a pump deck. So this is going to be fairly interesting. We'll sacrifice that for an island. So next turn I can pop something off, but I think I've already lost because I know that sounds a little bit uh, bad, but if they're running the kind of deck... I'm thinking they are. They're pretty much going to cast some smaller stuff to pump up this guy to start hitting me with pretty hard. And if they just pop out, you know, two people here, I'm on a seven turn clock. They pop out three people here, you know, I'm on a turn five clock. And they've got the hand to do it. That's even worse for me. I'm just going to always yield to this. But that's bad. They now got two of these out. So we'll see what happens. They're probably going to swing at me for the two or three because they can. I need them to search their deck because I'm way behind. Um, I do know I'm going to probably... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next turn. I, I could take a couple more damage. So I think I need to thin my deck out a little bit more. Because I'm in a very, very tight spot. I went ahead and tap two for the Calling Heart Expedition. And then I want to play the Evolving Wilds. Uh, that's not the best thing to do, but I could pop this off next turn easily. Next turn. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to let them go. and Because I, I could activate that anytime I want. I just got to remember to do it. But they're probably going to play another creature. If they get two more, I'm pretty much screwed because, yeah, I forgot. Oh, red-green. Let's see what they pop out now. Uh, yeah, it's basically a green pump deck. And it hurts. So I'm pretty much on a very tight clock. Like I said, they probably won. Because I can't do nothing. I didn't get the Hedron to start milling them. So they didn't draw into anything good. And with this kind of build. I don't have any answers. Because they're probably going to sold on that. With one of these. And then they're going to hit me for 9. So I'm on a turn 2 clock. I was on turn like 3. Now I'm on turn 2. But as you saw. Um, I have not gotten the best draws at all. 
so I really need to draw into something uh, good here. But there's nothing that can pull me back from this. I got no answer for creatures on the field. Maybe I should have thought about that. I mean, I can toss out a blocker next turn. But they're just going to hit me with the rest of it. And not what I needed. I need something bigger. So it's good game for them. And we'll begin sideboarding and see what happens. I... Shouldn't have kept that hand, but you live and learn, so we'll see what happens. Probably siding in some stuff, but they didn't get a good look at my deck, so I don't think they know what I have. They just saw green and blue. They could think I'm just running a basic landfall deck, but we'll see what happens. I uh, should probably just go to toss in a bunch more stuff, and we'll see. They're or if she's thinking I got mill, she'll probably just, uh, he or she may just put in like Eldrazi or something. And I've got no answer for it with this current build. So we'll see what happens. Okay, I will play first. Double Hedron, Terramorph, Triple Hedron. This is a risky hand to keep, but I will keep it. The reason why it's risky is because I've only got two lands. But basically, I'm going to do turn one Hedron, turn two Hedron into a Terramorphic to make him mill a lot of cards. You know, that'll be three, six, that'll be 12 cards, which will put me really close to a, uh, Visions. But they probably got some sort of answer for a crab, so we'll see what happens. They do the same thing they did last turn, where you turn one, uh, Creature Pump, but they may have something different. Two life or, yeah, another Pumper. So we'll go ahead and do my combo uh, and see what happens. And do, what do I get? Not the best card, but it will be great for the Hedrons and it will set me up with uh, green. Do the fact that I really need another island. I will always yield. I don't know if I need another island or forest. I would like the idea that if I pop off my... I will get another island and see what happens. Because I got my land and I could pop that out. And I would... Yeah, I got, my, I got this next turn because I'll tap one for another Hedron, and then I'll tap, play Forest, make them mill, tap the other one to draw three cards and see what I get. So that'll be my next plan. Uh, she probably knows I'm not going, or he or she knows I'm probably not going to attack them. Because this deck ain't meant to attack. I got some blockers. They're zero twos, which ain't great. But they can block the uh, one one they pop out for one turn. So I won't take no damage from that. But even then, I don't think they would uh, do much. So pretty much, they might concede, which I doubt it. Uh, I kind of want to see what I got rid of. A Dryad Militant, that's good. Got rid of that. Champion of Lambit. Wolfire. Pretty much I got one of their combos out. Actually, I got rid of two Wolfire. 
so it's pretty good for me. And uh, we'll go back and hide that, and we'll go to next turn. I'm not going to block. They might have like a giant growth or something, but I'd rather not block and make them waste this for either that or uh, lightning bolt. But I've not seen them play too many red, but when they have a red splash in here. Dried militant. So pretty much uh, can't really do much. But since I don't have flashback, it's fine. And I draw into a, that's good. Though that may change my plan. <laughs> they quit. Oh, and they quit the match. Oh, so uh, match one, I won. I guess they gave up. Uh, when they see three hedron crabs against them, they know they're in trouble. Because, but I think they just quit because I don't think they like the idea of that deck. Again, this was a qu very quick match. I think they gave up too early because they could have probably played me the third game and won because this deck ain't that consistent yet. But as you saw, if you get like that ungodly, un un ungodly hand, and by un un for me, ungodly is awesome. You know, there's a godly hand, which is uh, a game winner, and then there's hands just like that, which is just ungodly. It's just above godly because it was turn one hedron turn two hedron into a switch land or search land that was turn three hedron into a calmly hard expedition with a forest they did not like that idea yeah and that would have been my plan play the forest tap to calmly because then i could have popped one mana next turn and uh draw three automatically because i would have milled uh, nine cards with those other cards and if they did have a searcher so i had the archive trap in my hand so yeah, as you see, this deck can pop off really well, but I need to figure out a few things. But I didn't draw much. I didn't draw a lot. Basically, this deck is mostly blue, and I'm going to be drawing mostly blue. And, uh, you know, I drew the blue cards. I drew the Hedron, the Visions. I didn't really draw these. I drew the Archive Trap both games. I did draw the Colony. I didn't get the Harrow, and I did draw the Evolving and the Terrors. So this deck does seem to be a little consistent, but we'll just see how it plays out in match two. I know I shouldn't consider that a match win, but I will take what I can get because I think that if someone quits on game two and just forfeits, forfeits the match um, without even trying game three, they either made a wrong deck or they just really, really, really did not like that deck. And I guess against a green-blue mill, not a lot of people are expecting it. So I guess they're not really wanting to play it. Which is a cool idea. Green, blue, mill. Definitely a winner here. So yeah, that will be the deck I have for now. And so this is the Darkly player, and I am out of here for now.